Omar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global, joined by Mama's Boy. Yes sir, what's going on man? Dennis Duggan, last time I spoke to you, God, that was a long time ago, at Eubanks Gym. Yeah, in, in Brighton. That's the one, before the Gale fight. Uh, what have you been up to since then? Unfortunately, still no fights, man. Since then I've been training, but um, I've been offered a bunch of fights. Got turned down. Billy Joe Saunders, David Lemieux, um, Dominic Wade, Anthony Simmons Jr. I've been getting a lot of no's, so... We're looking to get back in the ring though November 15th. They just gave me the point on my way to the contract sign for I say your name. We're finally getting back in the ring, man. And I'm excited. When were you supposed to fight Anthony Sim Jr.? When was that offered? Um, I don't remember. Over the summer sometime. I think when no, when he fought upon Alexander, I was supposed to be the person. He was like, oh no, I want to fight somebody taller. And then he fought upon who's shorter than me. But whatever. Shout out to Anthony <laughs> and shout out to Anthony Sims. I'm saying like I just want to fight, man. I want to fight, man. That's it. Have you got a fight date at the moment? Yeah, November 15th, so two weeks. Okay. Finally, we're coming out of retirement. Where's that? I'm Utah on the Lou DiBella undercard. Okay, cool, man. Cool. In terms of the British fighters, uh, we know you were scheduled to fight Billy Joe Saunders. There were rumours going around you're going to fight Billy Joe Saunders next week in LA. What happened with that situation, Dennis? Um, so, Billy Joe, which I have a lot of respect for, he said yes. Um, it was the WBA, unfortunately, that went and proved me as his opponent for the title shot, which, because I was I was inactive for a year, I haven't fought since November. So, I mean, I understand that. I'm saying, like, to give me a title shot after being inactive for a year, I get that. So, hopefully. Billy Joe keeps that same energy. I'm fighting again, like I said, in two weeks. Then fight me next, Billy. Like I'm saying, let's get it going. But like I said, I have a lot of respect for Billy for, for stepping up and saying he'll fight me. Um, so I want that. Another British fighter that I know you rate very highly is Callum Smith. But yes. you put out a tweet, I think, the other day along the lines. Do you want to find out how good he is by getting the ring with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I only watched him fight once. But I, fought the, I saw him fight George Groves. That was a great fight. I hear a lot of things about him. He's big. I'm saying he, he, he looks good. So like I said, I want, I want to fight him so I can see how good he is. Um, I just want to fight the best, bro. That's it. Like, I'm not one of those fighters that want to take the easy road to get the big money. I'm in a sport because I'm a warrior, bro. I love boxing, bro. Like, I just want to fight. That's it. So, yeah, I want to fight Cullum. I want to fight Billy Joe. I want to fight Eubanks. Even though I'm in camp with Eubanks right now, I want to fight Eubanks. You Eubanks? Yeah. Even though you, you like, train all the time together. Wow. I'm in camp with him right now. Because I think that's what we're in sports for. Le LeBron James and, and, du um, and Dwayne Wade hang out all the time. But when they have to play each other, they got to play each other. That's it. Like, if you want to be the best, I want to fight everybody in my weight class. So, there's no disrespect. I have nothing but respect for Eubanks. But if you're in my way, although he's moving down to 160 now, so. He's fighting Korobov yeah, at 60. 60. So he's no longer in my radar. But if you're at 168, Billy Joe, um, Cullum Smith, David Benavidez, anybody at the top, man, I, I, Caleb Plant. Darrell. Darrell, oh, Darrell, big one. Yeah, anybody, man, I just wanna fight. Like I'm saying every time, it's when I retire. If you beat me, I'm gonna retire from boxing. So somebody just beat me real quick. Shut me up, that's it. Just shut me up, bro. I talk a lot. You want someone to retire you? <laughs> I said, I want them to say, because everybody tells me I'm not that good, whatever, because I have a couple of losses, which I got because I didn't take boxing serious. Like, I was having fun. Um, I had a full-time job. I just loved the sport, so I was partying, fighting, lost. But now this is my full-time thing, man. I love boxing. I have a different respect for it. I don't play boxing. I train my ass off. So now I don't think anybody can beat me. Nobody's ever beat me because they were better than me. They beat me because I got tired, because I wasn't running. I wasn't training. Beat me now. Shut me up now. Bet you can't. Dennis, uh, wish you the best of luck. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. A couple it. of weeks in Utah. Uh, get the win and see what happens. See, thank we'll you, see thank what you. Great I appreciate fighters. it. Yeah, man, I'm going to keep, I'm going to stay on everybody. Stay on everybody's Instagrams, bothering them. So, um, yeah, man, look, look, look for me. Dennis, thanks for your time on yeah, our No problem, bro. Enjoy our fight week. It's a massive one. Thank you, thank you.